Hello and welcome back to another video. So today this is the look at the JCB 3CX uh, backhoe digger. This is one of my seven model tractors. This is one of the smaller ones. I've got three small ones and uh, four of uh, larger models. But uh, yeah, this one is one of my two metal ones. This one is made of metal and I've got another one which is made of metal, which I believe is a T7 New Holland. So uh, yeah, this is one of two metal ones. So I guess a bit better condition than the, the plastic ones, which are the other ones. So uh, yes, uh, got the backhoe obviously and the front digger part. That's what it is. Oh, there you go, <laughs> coming from that angle. Free uh, front digger part. Uh, they do move. So it moves up, hold that one, there you go, and down, and then it to the left, to the right, and the same with the actual digger part as well, there we go, just move out of the way, you can see that's going up and down, if I move that round to the back, this bit also slides, left and right, so quite a bit of a movement on there, uh, same with the front, uh, up, down, as you can see, uh, same with the bucket, that would tip as well, like that, there you go, it's tip now, and the weight, there we are, uh, it is made by uh, Britain's, as you can see there on the back, Britain's model, there we go, quite a popular one for uh, models, move that back and wait, there we go, it's in the camera now, but uh, yes, so lots of moving, front wheels move, left and right, so you can go that way, or tilt it, and you can go the other way, so uh, yes, there we go. Uh, cab, can't actually get in the cab on this one. It's uh, no door for it as such. There's the door details, but you can't open it. I know on some models, you actually can open the doors, but unfortunately, not for this one. But it does have some design. Here, look, move that. You've got the steps going up to where the, you know, the cab would open, if it could. And uh, you've got your lights. Move my camera on the top there. Here we go, lights on the top, and the same at the back. Lights on the back here for that one. Just move that back into place, there we go. So, uh, I think that's most of it. Uh, I'll actually show you a quick inside, actually, of the cab, if anyone wants to see it. There we go, Let's just let that focus. There we are, so you've got some uh, levers, uh, leather seat by the looks of it would be in there. I know it's obviously made of plastic, but here yeah, you can see the controls in there. There, I'm back by turning around the other way. See them a bit better. There we go. You got your sort of uh, joysticks in there that would control the uh, the backhoe and the front digger part. So uh, yeah, there we go. I think most of it's covered. The wheels are plastic here, or rubber. I think they're actually no, they're plastic. They're plastic. Sometimes they're rubber. Sometimes they're plastic. But on this occasion, uh, yeah, they are plastic. Everything else is metal. All this. Metal, even the back bit here, all metal. Uh, yeah, but basically everything on here is metal apart from the plastic, obviously on the inside and this bit and the wheels and the steps there are actually metal, I think. So uh, yes, pretty much I'd say 85% metal and 20% plastic, roughly. Doesn't actually say, but looking at it, that's uh, roughly what it is. If I move that out a bit, everyone can see it a bit more. But uh, yeah, nice model. Really cool. If you want to, obviously you could uh, do some actual digging. If you had some like uh, dirt, or even pretend dirt. But I've got a few sort of model things. Perhaps I can set up some animals and start to do a bit of a model farm. So I've got some uh, like crops here. <laughs> so for instance, if I wanted to do a model farm, I could. Obviously I'd have to do a different one because they're completely different sizes like the other models are three times bigger so it wouldn't be realistic to have all of them together but I could have like my small model one of this and then a barn and some animals and stuff so if you want to see that uh, let me know and obviously be subscribed to stay tuned so yeah for this first video I think that's it the next one I may do the um, T7 I think it is I believe it's a T7 yep it's a T7 <laughs> I just checked so uh, yeah, I'll probably do the T7 next, and then I've got a small class Lexian as well after that, and then we'll move on to the big ones. So yeah, I think that's basically it, I've covered everything. So uh, yes, thanks for watching, 
like and subscribe and i will see you soon for some more model tractor reviews goodbye and take care